I'm Vanessa Kimbrell, United States Postal Inspector. Let's, uh, spell your first and last name. V a n e s s a k i m b r o u g h. Okay, tell me what, you, what y'all are doing out here today. Well, the Postal Inspection Service takes opportunities such as this uh, community outreach program to educate the public on different mail fraud scams that are out there to look out for, uh, it, providing information on safeguarding their identity from identity theft, uh, just sharing a lot of information to help protect the consumers, to give them an idea of things to look out for that would, um, since the bad guys are, are so prevalent, then it's best to just educate the public so that they can protect themselves. What is the biggest thing you're seeing right now in particular? Well, the biggest thing that we're seeing is, is again, um, in mail fraud, we have one big case where we've got individuals that are defrauding people, giving them the impression that they're going to inherit a lot of money. Uh, we call it a 419 scheme. Um, mainly, they're being contacted and told that if they allow someone to have ac give them access to their bank account information, their identifiers such as their name, social security number, date of birth, uh, these individuals are actually use utilizing that information to uh, steal the identity of the individuals, basically have access to their bank account and just totally wipe out their life savings and what have you. What about now another thing you've got to uh, get your post inspection vehicle out here? Yes, we brought, we brought, yes, I'm excited. We were able to bring our dangerous mail 
um, vehicle out to just de demonstrate to the public some of the tools that we use to scan um, the mail if, if necessary for items that may be of danger to the public as well as our, our employees. Uh, we also have examples of some of the things that are going through the mail that give the appearance that it might be a, a dangerous product and it may be something as simple as powder, sugar, or uh, flour and what have you. So. Just recently, this gas, gas price and everything else, now you're getting uh, starting to get some tablets, I guess they're called, supposed yes. to enhance your fuel mileage. Yes, yes. Smell awful. Tell yes. me about these things. Yes, getting, yes, right? yes. There, is, there are a few companies out there that, because of the, the rise, oh. rising cost in gas, com gas uh, individuals are trying to find ways to stretch their dollars with the gas mileage. And there are companies out there that are offering these little pellets, gas pellets, to just drop into your gas tank. And it's supposed to extend the life of your gas mileage. Uh, we haven't been able to validate that, but that's a different topic. Uh, the problem with it is it's being mailed, and it's, it's an irritant. It's causing a lot of irritation to employees or anyone that come in contact with it. It's a very strong odor. Uh, and, and it's basically an irritant more so than anything. And so we're just trying to warn the public that if, if you do happen to find or receive a package such as that and you think it might be something dangerous, if, especially if you've ordered a gas pellet, then it's very possible that's what it is. What about your employees? I mean, these kind of, well, I, I have a package here a while back in a baggie. Was yeah. That. I mean, one mm -hmm. of the employees, I'm sure you're getting calls from them at the office. Exactly, and that's one of the biggest concerns is because it's an irritant for the employees who are having to handle the mail, you know, and, and not only just the package that it's in, but all of the packages and, and the mail that it surrounds. And let's say you have a carrier with an enclosed vehicle and you have one or two of those packages in that vehicle, the fumes, you know, rise and, and cause a lot of problems for the employees. Is this is all as far as flammability or anything? No, it, it's, it's actually not a, a very dangerous product. It's just more of an irritant than anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, appreciate it. All right, we're set. Okay, first of all, your name? Katie Morland. Spell your last name, Katie. M-O-R-E-L-A-N-D. Okay, what what did you think about this out here? Did you learn anything? Or? Um, I learned a whole lot of stuff on like how like to prevent crime and stuff and what to do if someone breaks into your house or, you know, um, I got to help out with the, um, uh, like the slide, whatever the fire truck slide. Um, it was really fun. I think a lot of kids liked it. What about, what did you learn? I mean, you've got, what, you had the postal inspectors out here, you had the limousine out here, the dignitary limousine. The limousine was awesome. Like, it was like, I thought it was going to be an organ, like, ordinary limousine, but it like, had all this cool stuff in it. It was like... Tell me about the limousine. What did you think about it? It was like really, like, the windows were really thick on it. There was a lot of glass. Um, it had a lot of antennas and special stuff for the, like, president or, like, if someone, like, really important came so they could be protected. It was really cool. What about what else? Did you, what about the uh, postal inspectors? All the equipment they had on it. I think that was really cool because I didn't know there was going to be that much equipment, and there's like, I don't know. Today was just really cool. Did you get fingerprinted too? Huh? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. But. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks.